Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to go over the 2016 Passport 2400BH. Going to be a, a nice, short, lightweight bunkhouse, only going to weigh about 4,700 pounds. Let's go ahead and take a look right up front here. So start you off, you're going to have your propane tank cover, just going to have your nice easy thumb screws right here, which those just go ahead and unscrew, fold forward, which is going to give you your access into your two 20 pound tanks for 40 pounds of propane. Right behind that, of course, we're going to have our shelf for our battery, and then you're going to have your diamond plating, which is going to help protect the front end from any rocks or anything that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. One of the things I really like about Passport is going to be the towability. So as you take a look at the front end, you have a really nice curve on here, helps with aerodynamics, which of course is going to give you less wind resistance, which is going to give you, in turn, better fuel economy. So you got to love that. As we take a look right here on the side, you're going to see your pass-through. So nice big pass through in there. Of course, you'll have your finished floor. If you take a look at the ceiling, you'll notice that it is going to be aluminum. You're gonna have uh, aluminum cage on this coach, which again is gonna help with the weight, make it nice and lightweight, as well as give, uh, give it added durability. And you'll also have a light in there in case you have to access it at night. As you can see here, you're going to have a nice big power awning. It spans almost the entire length of the coach, which is great. It's going to cover your door. It's going to cover your outside kitchen. It makes a, a perfect spot so you can set up camp, set up all your chairs. Just absolutely wonderful. Touch of a button, it rolls out. Touch of a button, it's going to go ahead and roll back in. Speaking of uh, getting into the coach, that's going to be super simple right here. You're going to have three steps to get in. The first one's going to be nice and low to the ground. And then right here, you're also going to have a grab handle, again, just to help help assist getting in. As you'll notice, when you go in, you're going to have a strut. It's going to be right here, so it's just going to hold it open, so that way you don't have to worry about ripping it out of the walls. It's folded back. So again, just nice and convenient. Makes it super simple to go inside. Uh, one thing I do love also about the Passport is it's kind of tough to see, but you know some of the construction, not only is it going to be the all aluminum frame, but underneath it is going to be a huck bolt frame, uh, which is going to, again, help with that added strength, and if it ever does get damaged, makes it easier to repair. Also, this is going to be an extended season camping unit so you do have a heated and enclosed underbelly that way if you're camping into the colder fall seasons you don't have to worry about things freezing up on you if we take a look at the axles here, you are going to have easy lube axles, which again, less maintenance is always a great thing. And it's going to be load equalization axles, so you'll get a spread axle system, which is going to help with that towability I talked about. It's going to help reduce the sway in the coach. As we make our way right to the back corner of the coach here, you're going to have your outside kitchen. So door is just going to lift right up. And again, great placement. You'll have your outside speakers here in case you want to listen to music wired out here. You can certainly do that while you cook. The thing I love about this is it gives you everything you need right outside. So of course your refrigerator is going to be right here, perfect for condiments, beverages, whatever else you need, and you'll get a cooktop that's going to pull out like so. So you can go ahead and pull this out. This will have locks on both sides. You can just lock that into place, but you'll have your outside faucet as well as a rinse basin here, and you're going to have a two burner cooktop. So again, just a great feature. That way, you know, that it can be outside, the kids can be outside. Oh, one more thing before I forget that I really liked about this too. This right here, take a look at that. Huge countertop extensions. That way when you and the kids are outside, you're cooking, you can prep your food here. It really makes a, a you know, what looks like a small kitchen into a really large one. Gotta love that extra space on there. As we come around to the very back here, You'll notice you're going to have your bumper. Attached to that bumper is going to be a spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you're going to have that right there. Also, if we take a look up at the roof line of the Passport, you'll notice it's going to have a nice curve to it. That way your rainwater is naturally going to run off to the sides, where you're going to have your uh, water troughs to take it to the front and the back. That way it's not going to drip on you as you come out the door. As we come around to the back side here, a couple things of note. So here is going to be your power cord that just pulls out and reels back in nice and easy. Right here is going to be your black tank flush. That's something that, again, it's just a great thing they've come up with. And what that does is instead of having to take a hose and put it in your toilet when you're done camping to wash out your black tank, nowadays you just take that hose, screw it right into this black tank flush. It's gonna be sprayers built in that black tank and it'll go ahead and spray it out for you. Makes the job a lot easier. Also right here is is going to be your utility shower so you do have a, a outside shower with both hot and cold access all right folks I know the outside of the passports great let's go take a look at the inside 
Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Keystone Passport 2400BH. This one is going to be in the rattan interior, which you can see on the valances, as well as on your U-shaped dinette. Well, let's go ahead and start off right over here in the kitchen. One of the things I love about this floor plan is you have a ton of countertop space. You can take a look, just gives you massive prep space, especially because you're going to have the dual sink top cover. So we can go ahead and lift those off. As you'll notice, of course, dual bowl sink, bigger one on the left, smaller one on the right. And these are also going to be cutting board quality, so you can go ahead and flip them over to use that as a cutting board. Then in order to aid you in washing dishes, you do get the nice high rise stainless faucet on there too. Now, not only do you have big countertop space, you're also going to get big storage underneath. If you notice right by the door, you're going to have nice big um, door right there that opens up, allows you access into that storage. Also, this is going to swing open. This goes all the way back to that other storage there. And then you're also going to have two very large full extension drawers that you will have in all the Passport models. Also, as you come around to the front side here, there's also going to be storage again right here so uh, again not only do you get the huge countertop space but you get massive storage underneath as well which is great now to round out the countertop here you're gonna have your Atwood three burner stovetop that does have your oven of course right here in case you want to bake anything and you're also gonna get a very nice large storage compartment underneath which is perfect to store all your pots and pans now if we take a look up top here, you're going to get this beautiful raised panel cabinetry. We'll go ahead and open that up and you get great pantry space right there. Next to that, of course, is going to be your microwave. And beneath that, we're going to have our hood with a fan and a light, as well as, of course, an additional light right here, which is going to help brighten up your kitchen. Right up top, you'll notice we're going to have ducted AC that is going to be ducted throughout, as well as we'll have our speaker system in here, and we're going to have ducted heat through the floor. So even though it is going to be a relatively shorter coach, it's still going to be ducted, making sure that the kids are going to be nice and comfortable as they're sleeping. Now right here is going to be your fridge freezer combo. This of course will run off of LP or electric, but you'll get plenty of space here. Um, you know, great shelving space in there, and it is gonna have automatic switch over for you. So if it is running off LP, as soon as you plug it into shore power, it's automatically gonna switch over to electric, saving you on that gas usage. So right back here, of course, is gonna be our bunks. You'll have what they call a double bunk. Oftentimes in the industry, they call this a double over double. So you're gonna have two double wide bunks back here. Nice thing about that is if uh, you know your, kid, your kids do want to bring friends, you can easily sleep two younger kids on either bunk, not a problem, especially considering they're going to have a 300 pound weight limit, so no issues whatsoever, plenty of space. Also you'll have a light both top and bottom, and you're going to have windows as well, which are going to let in a lot of natural light. Right back here, all right, under here rather, you'll notice you're gonna have excellent storage area, which is perfect for some of the kids' clothes. And also, if the kids do bring electronic devices, whether it's a, a iPad or a phone, whatever it may be, you will notice that in the back, on the top and on the bottom, you do have electrical outlets, so they can go ahead and charge their devices. And of course, you're gonna have a curtain here you can close off for privacy. Now right in the very back is going to be our bathroom. We can go ahead and take a look in here. You'll see you're gonna have a tub shower, which is great if you have young kids, that way they can take a bath. You'll see you're gonna have plenty of shelving space in there, and you have a vent up top. Over to the side, we're gonna have our mirrored medicine cabinet with plenty of storage behind that. Of course, our sink and vanity with uh, good countertop space on there, storage underneath that, as well as our stool in the corner, and you'll notice you have plenty of leg room there. Now right outside the bathroom right here, I love this uh, closet space because this is going to be very versatile space. They have the shelves in here, okay, and these are going to be removable, so you can use this as a full pantry if you want, or you can take you know one or two of these shelves out, use it as hanging space, and still have some extra shelving built in. So very versatile space, you can kind of customize that to uh, the way you're going to be camping. Now right here is gonna be our slide. So again, I, I love having a slide in here, especially with the kids, because you're gonna want some extra room, and this is definitely gonna give it to you, especially a nice lightweight model. But you get this huge U-shaped dinette, which is perfect for the whole family to be able to sit around. Again, it's that rattan interior. Three windows here, gonna let in a lot of natural sunlight, as well as our light right up top. Now if you do have any additional guests that need to stay with you, not a problem. This table will drop down, these legs right here pull out, 
uh, the table will rest all along the edge here and then your cushions will go ahead and fill in on top of that table that way you get a nice big bed that two uh, fully grown adults can easily sleep on now if you are sitting in the U-Dinette, maybe it's a rainy day, you can play games here at the table, or you do have your TV. So the TV is going to come with it, um, but you know you're gonna have a 30 inch TV here, which is great. That's also gonna be connected to our multimedia center right here. Um, the multimedia center is going to be a CD player as well as radio and a DVD player. So you can go ahead and pop a DVD in here. If you wanna throw a movie on for the kids, you certainly have that capability. Here's gonna be our control panel as far as our tank monitoring systems. Um, your water heater, this one will run off of both LP or electric, or you can turn them both on at the same time for higher recovery. And then of course you'll have your lights as well as your slide room control. Extra storage right up top here. As you'll notice, you have this beautiful tinted glass, gives it a really nice look. Extra shelving space right here. And then you're going to have additional storage space down below. All right, let's head up front. We'll take a look at the bedroom. Up in the bedroom, right as you enter, you'll notice you're going to have two pocket doors slide open nice and easily here. And then right here at the foot of the bed, you do have space for an extra TV in case you want a TV in the bedroom. Of course, right here is going to be our queen bed. We can go ahead and lift this up. You'll notice you do have plenty of storage underneath. Great storage area. And then also you're going to have excellent storage all around the bed. You'll have two mirrored wardrobes on both sides where you'll have a hanging rack to hang your clothes, as well as excellent storage across the top where you will have your uh, tinted glass on there. Right beneath the mirrored wardrobes, you do have shelves on both sides. One side is a little bit larger, so if you do have a CPAP machine, I uh, advise sleeping on this side of the bed, but both sides will have plug-ins in case you need to go ahead and plug in a cell phone to have it charge while you sleep. All right, folks, thanks for joining me again. This is the 2016 Keystone Passport 2400BH. It's in the rattan interior, just a wonderful light coach. It's only gonna weigh 4,700 pounds, perfect for the family. You're gonna have those two double bunks, the outside kitchen, nice big u dinette. Definitely something you wanna come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video below, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer it that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.